My name is Javier Juliá. I'm a cinematographer. I work in the movie Argentina 1985. That is in the official competition of the Venice Film Festival. Well, this is the third time that I work with uh, Santiago Mite, the director of the movie. Since he told me about that, I was very excited. But at the same time, I feel that we all felt that we have a, a big responsibility with this, uh, with this story. I don't think that it's, uh, we are really aware of the importance of this trial. Uh, it was the first time that uh, military dictatorships went to a civil court and were judged for the crimes that they did. We always wanted to, to stay away from something that it looks old or nostalgic. So our approach to the movie was trying to make a movie that it feel contemporary. For example, everything that happened inside the court, I wanted to stay away as much as, as I could from the from the footage the, from the trial, the real footage. Uh, everything is shot from the back of the witness, so with a long lens, you know, they are very far from there. So I just want the exact opposite, you know, I want to, to make the audience feel that they are there, you know, at something more immersive, so, something that is close to the witness. I like to see the context of things, you know, it's not that uh, so, in order to have the same depth of field that I usually have in 35, you need to, the stop, to, to stop to, to, to get the same kind of feeling. So usually I like to see a little bit of uh, the place. But for this project in particular, I think that large format was the right choice. And we used the uh, signature prints at that moment. And everything that happened outside, we shoot it with the LF with the Canon FD uh, lenses. Also, I rate the, the camera a little bit higher so I can have a little bit of texture, something different, but I want that contrast between outside and inside, and, and I want it inside just to be as um, clear and transparent. I want to go deep in the eye of the witness. It's so emotional what is happening inside the court, you know, that uh, I just, didn't want to, to have any interference between the characters and the lens. At the same time, I think that the, the, the Alexa, all the Alexa has this beautiful quality of, of being uh, clear, and, but at the same time, there, there are no, how do you say, car harsh, you know. It's, it's not something that is disturbing, because sometimes it's too definition or too, uh, uh, it's, it's, for me, it's disturbing. Because it's it, it's not it's not how I look, how I see. Inside the courtroom, I try to be a little bit more closer. You know, I try to separate a little bit more. Usually, the you know, something that I don't like it sometimes. You know, to to, to have the, the the background too blurry or too out of focus because I like to put uh, the, the the characters in context. I, I like to see a little bit what happened, but in this case, I want the opposite. I wanted to separate a little bit. I want to isolate them. We made a, a very complicated rig that had like a big soft box on top of the, the where the judge and the, and the lawyers and the witness are. That is like a, I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but I think it's, it was like six meter by eight meters. It was quite complicated because I, I know. I knew that uh, I wanted to be free of movement. We tried to keep it simple so we can shoot it uh, as much as we, as we can. We know that we have a, a lot of, and also Santiago like to, to have a lot of time with, with the actors, mm -hmm. to develop the characters, try to, to find the characters, find the, the, the right tone for the scene. So I knew I had to, to keep it simple. You know, when, when you do a movie, you always try to do your best. I think that everybody wants to, that their movie is going to be seen by a wider audience. But uh, this, this was something else, you know. Everybody was committed to this movie. Every single person, you know, from the catering, from the transport, for everybody want to participate in this movie in a way. Because we, we felt that it's something that had to be told, you know.